Hi everyone, Stephen Choi here. This is the first video of the three that I'll be making for June 15th, 2020. Monday, June 15th, 2020. I can't believe this is already the last week of classes. Um, usually, I give a final exam on the second to the last day, and then we have a, we have a big party, right, on the last day. But today, I'm just making uh, three more videos, okay? Um, we're in Unit 9 now, Unit 9, Daily Living, and we're going to go right to page 112. Page 112, and we're going to talk about past continuous, okay? Past continuous, the past continuous tense. It's also sometimes called past progressive. You'll see that sometimes in some of the books, past progressive. But it's the same thing, past continuous and past uh, progressive. Okay, so... When do we use, or what is past continuous tense? It says, use the past continuous to talk about actions that were happening at a specific time in the past. Okay? So, we use this. Um, so, if this is a timeline, okay, and this is now. Okay, so past continuous, the action starts sometime in the past, okay? Sometime in the past, and then, um, you know, I guess it, it should have ended, but sometimes it doesn't get ended because there's an interruption of that uh, pro pro progress, okay? So sometimes you get interrupted right there, and then it stops, okay? But anyway, it's, it's a specific uh, event that, that goes on, uh, that went on sometime in the past, okay? So, for example, let me erase this. So, for example, uh, we have, uh, let me make a sentence here. Um, you say, you were, well, before we go to the example, let, let me give you the formula, okay? It's was, were, okay? Was, were, plus what? Plus base, plus ing, right? So, this is what? This is also called present participle okay was were plus present participle base plus ing okay so let me give you an uh, example um example is you were working okay so you were working and it's usually um you know specific so let's just say yesterday yesterday you were working yesterday okay you were working yesterday okay and another example might be um let me just erase that we don't really need it for, for the purpose of illustrating okay um she she was driving okay yesterday or last night okay Okay, so, you know, you can say yesterday here. We don't have enough space as usual, okay? You were working yesterday. She was driving last night. These are examples of past continuous, okay? So, so this is the affirmative, okay? Um, how do you make uh, contraction? How do you make contraction in the past continuous, in the, in the positive, in the affirmative? You say, can you, can, would you say, you're working? Would you say that? You were working yesterday? Okay, you want to do that, but you can't do that. You can't contract in the in the positive in the past tense, okay? In the past continuous, okay? Because your sounds like you are, okay? It's confusing, okay? So there is no, you know, so there, you know, so there is no um, you're working, okay? You're working? No. That, that, that's a contraction for present continuous, right? You are working. Okay? So there is no uh, contraction for the uh, for the present uh, for the past continuous. Same thing here. You can't say she's driving last night. Okay, because that that she is is a it, it, the sh sh she apostrophe s. She is is either for she is or she has. Right? It's not for past. Okay, it's not for past tense or past continuous. Okay, so you don't have you don't have contraction for the past. All right. All right, how do you make this thing negative then? How do you make it negative? You say, you were not 
you were not working yesterday, and this one is what? She was not. She was not driving last night. Okay? Now, this one you can contract. In the negative, you can contract. Okay? So, how do you do that? You can do it only one way. You can say you're not, okay? But you can contract the second two words. You can say you weren't. You weren't driving and she wasn't. She wasn't driving last night, okay? So in the negative, in the negative you can contract, but not in the positive, okay? All right. And how do you make a question form? You say, were you... Were you working yesterday? Or to say, was she driving last night? Okay, was she driving last night? Okay, so that's how you make question form. And the answer is, affirmative answer is, for were you, were you working yesterday? You say, yes. Okay, you will say, I, right? Yes, I was. Were you working yesterday? Yes, I was, or no, I wasn't, okay, you know that, and then here, was she driving last night, you say, yes, she was, or you can say, no, she wasn't, okay, so that's how you answer positive and negative to, to these examples, okay, very straightforward, very easy, okay, very easy. All right. So um, let me let me talk about. Uh, we just talked about you know basic information about what this is, but let's talk about when we use these uh, sentences. You know, when do we use the uh, past continuous? When do we use that? Okay. So we we'll just put down uses. Okay. Uses. Okay. When do we, when do we, let me get a different pen. When do we use, um, when do we use the past continuous, okay? All right, first of all, we use them, we use them when we have two actions, okay? I told you about that already. When we have two actions, um, but at the same time, okay? At the same time. So, um, okay, so let me, let me give you an example first. Um, you say, I was watching TV when you called, okay? I was watching TV when you called, okay? And this is the past continuous, right? I was watching TV, okay? So you have two actions, okay? You have two actions, okay? When we, usually... It, when we use past continuous, we have two actions, but one of them is longer action and the other one is shorter action, okay? So, was watching TV is the longer action, right? So, the longer, the longer action is we use past continuous, okay? And you say, you called, right? Called, okay? All right, so I was watching TV. I don't know, I was watching it for, you know, maybe a couple hours, maybe three hours, okay? So, longer action. And then you called, which is shorter action, right? Calling is like, dee, 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 and then you call, right? It just takes a couple seconds. So shorter action, shorter action is the, what is this tense? Okay, called. That's simple past, right? Okay. So this is how we usually see the past continuous. Okay, this is how, this is the most common way we use the past continuous. Okay, we use it with simple past when we have two actions that happen at the same time in the past. Okay, so the longer action is what we what we use. Okay, uh, we use uh, past continuous past continuous for the longer action. For the shorter action, we use simple past and we combine it and to make a complex sentence. Okay, so when I was watching TV, I'm sorry, I was watching TV when you called. Okay. So, so longer action is the past continuous. Shorter, shorter, uh, shorter action is the simple past. Remember, I told you about two actions and the 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 long the one action gets interrupted. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, this is a timeline. Okay, this is this is now, and 
this happened, you know, yesterday, let's say, okay? And, you know, normally it would have ended, right? But this action, okay, this is, this is watching TV, okay? Watching TV got interrupted. Interrupted by what? By a phone call, okay? You called me, okay? So that's the interruption right there, okay? Interruption, okay? So this is what this is the most common way that we use the past continuous. We use it with simple past, okay? All right. Um, let me give you another example, okay? Let me give you another example. You could say, um, I, okay, I, I cut my hand, okay, while, while I was cooking, okay? I cut my hand while I was cooking, okay? So, again, uh, cut, my, cut my hand and cooking, okay, what's cooking? That's the longer, longer action, right? I was cooking for like 30 minutes, okay? That's the past continuous. And then, ooh, I, mean, I had an accident. I cut my hand or finger, okay? That was instant, right? That's a short action. So, cut my hand is simple past, okay? Cut, irregular, irregular verb, right? Cut my hand, we use simple past. Was cooking, longer action, past continuous, okay? All right. Um, also, um, so I just told you there are two actions and it gets interrupted, right? So, th so these two actions are real interruptions, right? Okay, a phone call, okay? Cutting my hand, okay, those, those are real, real interruptions. But sometimes you get interrupted only by time reference, okay? So for example, you can say, I was, um, I was, um, I was, I was, <laughs> okay, I was watching TV, okay? I was, I was watching TV, same example, at 10 p.m. last night, last night, okay, last night, okay? So, you know, the watching TV was interrupted only by the information, you know, at 10 o'clock I was watching TV, okay? So sometimes you use past continuous with an interruption, but not with real interruption, but with just a time reference, okay? Another example would be, um, I was eating, I was eating lunch, I was, or we were eating lunch, okay, let's just make it plural, so make it a little bit more interesting, okay? We were eating lunch at noon today, okay? So again, we use uh, we can use uh, past continuous with a time time uh, interruption okay time interruption okay so interruption only only because of time reference all right so that's that's one of the uses when things get interrupted when an action when a continuous action gets interrupted we use it okay that's one use okay what's what's another use another use is parallel actions okay, so one is what one is with interruptions okay interruptions okay in the past and then another one is parallel parallel actions okay so for example um you can say um you know i was studying i, I was studying i was studying okay i was studying and and you were, let's say, cooking. Okay? So, two actions in the past, they're both, you know, equally long. Okay, we just, we, and we use it like that, okay? Which is not a common way, but that's one way we can use it, parallel actions. Or we can say, uh, we can say, they were, they were singing, uh, dancing, oops. Dancing and having a great time, okay, at the party or something, okay. So they were singing, dancing, and having a great time. So you can make, uh, you know, more, even more than two. You know, you can, you can have three actions in the in a parallel, okay, continuous, okay, past continuous uh, uses, okay. All right. So they were singing, all right, and dancing, and they were having a great time. Okay. Um, 
Another example might be um, maybe a little negative, okay? He wasn't studying, okay? And I wasn't studying either. Okay, you can do it that way. Studying, studying, okay? I wasn't studying, and, I'm sorry, he wasn't studying, and I wasn't studying either, okay? All right? So, so there's some, you know, uses, okay? When, when we have parallel actions, okay? There are, you know, at the same time and equal, equal in importance or equal in time, okay? All right, and then finally, what's another? It is called repetition, repetition, okay? Repetition, or sometimes we call it um, irritation, okay? Because it's annoying, irritation, okay? These are different uses, okay? This different uses of the past continuous, okay? And we use repetition or irritation with words like Always and what? And constantly. Constantly. Okay? Always and constantly. Okay? Always and constantly. Okay, let me give you an example. Okay? So you will say, You were always, okay, coming to class late. Okay? You are always coming to class late, okay? So, you know, we use the adverb always. Okay, this is the past part, a past uh, continuous tense. You were always coming to class late, okay? That's repetition. Think that you did that, you know, more than once, okay? You did it, you know, repeatedly, okay? And it irritates people, okay? It's when we use always, that means I didn't like it, if that bothered me, okay? Uh, another another example might be um, he was constantly he was constantly talking in class. Okay, you ever know any classmates? Okay, you ever you ever know classmates is always talking, especially in their own language. You know, and you know it it it, 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 it and it bothers um you know other people trying to learn English. Okay. Do you know anybody like that? Okay, maybe. If you don't, maybe you're the one. Okay. <laughs> anyway, okay. He was constantly, he was constantly talking in class. Okay. So, so we use um, past continuous in this sense, you know, for repetition and irritation. Okay. Always or constantly. Okay. Um, you know, I didn't. Okay, another example. I didn't. Like you, uh, because you were always, always complaining, okay? Because you were always complaining, okay? I didn't like you because, okay, again, this is the past past continuous, were complaining, okay? Because you are always complaining, okay? So, you know, so you can use um, uh, past continuous when, 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 when we have two actions, one longer and one shorter, and the shorter one interrupts, okay? The shorter one is the one that interrupts, okay? Interrupts, okay? Shorter, shorter, um, shorter action interrupts the longer action. And the longer action is the past continuous, and the shorter interrupting uh, action is the simple past, okay? That's the most common way. And then we have parallel, okay? Same actions happening at the same time, okay? And then the last one is repetition or irritation, okay? Using words like, um, using adverbs like always and constantly, okay? Um, you know, you are always coming to class late, he was constantly talking in class. I didn't like you because you were always complaining. Okay? So, this is past continuous. Um, and we talked about three different uses. And I'll talk more about 
this interruption in the next video because that's the that's the most important okay and we'll talk about the words when and while okay all right see you soon